What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Apache Halloween YouTube channel. Now I got a different video here today so I just got this bite-sized clown right here and I've been looking for one of these guys for a little bit now because I got Uncle Charlie and all the other things and I got him. He, I knew he was in um, not perfect shape but he's far from horrible. He does have some dry rotting problems with his latex in the back here. His head has come off from the actual neck, like you see there. But that should be okay. But I'm going to try and re hot glue that and do something with the latex just to prolong it. It's all cracking in the back here, unfortunately. It's a little hard, and, but up towards the front it gets better so hopefully I can do something to try and slow that down you can see under there too it's a little a little worse for wear but we'll manage now when I first got it he all worked he has sound has the mechanism it's perfect but one thing I don't like is that his sound box is a little loud for my liking and his um, speaker was totally disconnected i'm not too sure how this goes yet and his circuit board was totally just laying in there so i'm going to try and get all that fixed up i'm not sure how it all went at first i thought that the speaker mounted in there but now what i'm seeing it looks like more something like this because there's this pvc that pipe that was in there as well so i'm thinking what has to happen it almost fits and then the speaker is on the inside because then the wires are long enough to reach and here's the try me jack and then there's the hole to the plug on the outside so I'm going to try and get that all working and I'll come back to you when I uh, show you my findings all right so it's been a couple hours since the last video and I've done a decent amount of work to it um, one thing that I did do was I got the speaker where, how I think it was supposed to be. I wired it up and it works fine and it's a lot louder now. And another thing that I have done is made the motor that makes him, um, shake. What was it? A problem with that was, I don't know if the plastic has been fatigued over the 12 years of lifespan, but what I did is I had to sand down the weight a little bit because the reason it was making that loud knocking noise is because that metal piece was hitting the shaft of the motor. So every time it went around, it was just knock, 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 knock. So I sanded that down, tried my best to get it to not be as loud. It still makes somewhat of the noise, but it's definitely not as bad. And again, it, it all works nicely, so I'll just flip it on and run over the sensor here. His eyes light up. So basically all of his mechanical problems have been solved. Now the only thing that I need to address is all the latex problems. Now, it's very interesting. His whole, um, his right side of his face, our left, is pretty good. It's nice and squishy still. The nose is even pretty good. But once you get to the other side of the face, that's where we run into some problems. You can see right here, definitely got some rot over there and his cheekbone piece right here is totally rock hard this whole side is totally um hard and i don't know what really, really to do with that i'm assuming i just gotta do my best to protect it but eventually it's gonna cr start cracking and maybe i'll have to um, do a paint job on the guy i'm not sure but the big problem is that his neck has come off of his plastic piece 
So what I'm working on now is I got some mesh that I've stolen from my dad and taking some silicone latex caulk and I'm in the process of putting this around the head to try and reform what was, has been lost here and hopefully make it stable enough for it to be able to just be caulked or glued in to this piece for it to last. That's the hope. Um, but I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. And then what I'm going to do is take some contact cement and fill in all these gaps, especially back here. That's the biggest part I'm trying worried about. But once that's all done, he should be pretty good. And then one last thing that I've seen is I've seen a lot of bite-sized clowns where their head is tilted forward and is always looking down. You can't even see the face. So what I've done to solve that problem is that inside of the actual clown, there's a big pole that just sticks up, and that's all it is in there. And then there's a one bottom pole and then the top pole, and those two poles are connected together by the spring. Now, that spring has probably gotten tired over the years of holding up the weight that it starts to seep downward. So what I did is I got up in there and took a zip tie and zip tied the back part of the spring so he lifted up to help support it. So hopefully that solves the problem. I had him up and I just zip tied his neck and it seemed like it was working well. So hopefully that is problem solved. But I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to get this guy working before Halloween. And even if his, because I would always try to get him to move, and the head would just like fall off slowly. So I got to do something about that. But hopefully, worst case scenario, he'll just be static. But it's more about the fact that he's there with Uncle Charlie. But hopefully I'll be able to get it done. I'm currently working on the neck. Everything mechanically is good. It's just the cosmetics. So the first thing that I did was I wiped it all down with the highest grade alcohol I could find at 91%. And then what I did was took some, I believe it's called fiberglass mesh, and I meshed in the insides and the outside. The inside was meshed with the caulk. The outside is meshed with um, contact cement. And you let that dry for the time it says and then uh, coat it on and to make it structurally sound. This whole side has been hit with it and it is gonna probably help it a lot. And then what I'm currently doing right now is taking just these blue shop towels and coating over the mesh to make it smooth and then I'll have to paint it. But hopefully this works. It seems like it will. And then I plan just to hot glue this so I, if I ever need to like get up in the head to fix the eyes or something, I'll be able to. So this is the thing in the clown that makes him vibrate. And if you've noticed with some of these guys, you'll see that some of them make a knocking noise while others are nice and quiet. It just like rolls around. And the reason why, from what I've found, is this. You can see these marks on this metal weight. That's the this piece hitting the shaft of the motor right there. So it's literally grinding away on that little piece over and over. That's why you hear knock noises. So what I've found is that the plastic piece is... Um, I don't know if it got flimsy or fatigued over time, but the shaft wouldn't sit nicely on here. So what would happen is the whole shaft would sink inwards and that would hit it. So what I did, and you see a little piece of black tape that's duct tape, and I just wrapped it around the shaft just a little bit, like not even one full turn, and then just shoved it in there. And now it's nice and sturdy. So now it shouldn't really go anywhere. So hopefully this fixes the problem. I'm not sure if it's long term because what I did before is I put some um, just electrical tape and what happened was it uh, stopped working as I was just about ready to put them back together. So I use duct tape now, put a dab of super glue on it 
and hopefully it works for a decent amount of time. All right, it is now after Halloween and I have finally been around and filming the rest of this video. He is fully working now and everything is cosmetically in good condition. He still has some cracking in the nose and the cheekbone, but that should last for a little longer. You could already see some of it, but he looks pretty good for now. A lot better than what he did. I also did, so I painted it and then I put a zip tie on the plastic piece to farther secure it in and then just put the ruffles over it. There he is. Now let's see him work. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>